Reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. You're listening to Lotro Reporter on the MMO Reporter Network, brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audibletrial.com slash MMO Reporter. And by Doghouse Systems. Choose your weapon at doghousesystems.com. Welcome to Lotro Reporter, episode 233. I'm your host, Carrie, and I'm joined again, as usual, this week by the Minion Master himself, Leonor. How you doing, Leonor? Hello, Minions. Join again, as usual. What? What? Well, sometimes I have Rorg, and sometimes I have Ilya. Yeah, sometimes but I'm the special I... one. Well, we weren't going to tell you you were special. Well, I need the most help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. So welcome, welcome, welcome chat room. Welcome, I'm Avaset from being away from the chat room for a while. I was worried. <laughs> welcome, welcome everybody who is sick and listening to the show because, geez, I've been sick for I don't know how long now. So you're not giving us an internet flu or anything, are you? Um, probably. Awesome. Just as long as I don't have the ghost in my computer anymore. That was kind of scary. No, I, I don't think Sammy's over by you. I think she was over by Harry the last time, but I'm not sure. Oh, good. Maybe Europe will keep keep her. Because she came from your computer. Yeah, she did come from my computer. Yes. Yes, she did. And then if uh, nobody knows what we're talking about, uh, we had a ghost in the network for quite a while, uh, around October last year. And it was on MMO Reporter that we started getting some problems. And um, that's basically about it. We, yeah. we try not to talk about it. Because <laughs> we don't want it back. We don't want it back. It was kind of creepy. Yeah, we, we had voices and everything in the uh, in the recording. So, yeah, we're let's let's move on. Let's move on. Let's Yes, let's do that. So, Leonor, mm-hmm. what have you been doing in-game? Um, well, I went to the moors for a little while. I am at 27.81%, um, past 25, getting to 30, kind of. So it's a little bit slow out there. There, there has been a, what we call a, a GV camp. Uh, the GV is the area where you log in and you enter the moors. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Because the creeps are pretty powerful right now for healing, um, we really can't kill too much out there. So a lot of us aren't venturing out there unless we have a full raid, and it's we're we're gaining no ground. Uh, but fortunately, we have so many people out there that we we're still getting kills and we're getting a lot of renown out of it. Um, Yellow Cab, who has been on the show before, he got 16k renown in one night. Wow. And, uh, he that wasn't within just like two or three hours. I mean, he was out there for quite a while that day, but considering he was just standing right there on the steps of the entrance of the area, that was a lot of renown that he got. So it's a little weird right now, and um, uh, it is kind of convenient for me to just kind of step off the steps and go pew pew pew, and then go back and get some renown. It's been really really nice. Oh, I bet. So you just have to hit something <laughs> once and then kind of step away. Yep. So uh, any hunters out there that uh, want to get some quick renown, keep that in mind. Um, I have Kindred and Fangorn. Congratulations. I don't. I, I got through all of the quests that the um, um, Quick Beams Huron gives you. I went through all those and I got the deed for that. I, I have been running the crafting instances over and over and over. And um, I, I have been doing the quest that Quick, Quick Beam gives you to, I don't know what exactly it is, just 
just tending to seeds and stuff all over the place. And uh, those those seem to be like just once a day, and they're 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 always different. I assume there's an end to those, and that's probably when you get your stupid Huron tree. Mhm. Mm Yay! Looking did, forward to that. Did you get a chicken from Hub Navigants? No, I didn't get a chicken. Um, I I caught onto chicken fever the last day, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, didn't get that much. Um, I, I have somewhere around like 90 tokens right now, I oh, think. That's better than me. I have zero. I didn't make it. Oh. <laughs> I, I had to cook Mother's Day dinner. Oh, I see. And clean my house. My mother-in-law was coming over. Well, what happened was over on Brandywine, we had one field that was working, which was the larger one, and we didn't have a lot of people for that. What we did have, we had a lot of people for the other fields because those weren't working. We had everybody just grabbing the quest, running into the field, and standing there. And what the, the problem was, was it, the, those fields were not keeping score and just rewarding tokens. Oh, that's that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does suck. So um, it, it's just very inconvenient and kind of annoying. I mean, the only way that you're going to get something, you know, out of this thing is to go to one of those broken fields and just farm it and stand there all day. You know, the the bigger field, I don't uh it's like eight versus eight or something like that. It's, it's a larger field. Okay. But uh, the, of course, that's not going to be very popular. The other ones are going to be more popular because you could just stand there and get tokens. So... Yeah. When my last, the, the last day it was going, I ran over there and I checked it out, and um, that's what was going on. I was like, "Oh, this sucks. Let me let me stay in here with you." Uh, of course. <laughs> so uh, I, I was almost the second tier of reputation for that. I can't remember what it was, but um, I got pretty far in that. Oh, cool. And then um, oh, yes, I got leaves. Um, I got a lot of leaves from doing the Fangorn quests, and I have a uh, Tier 3 Balerian Damage Physical Mastery uh, Legendary Scroll for my first age, so I was really happy. And um, when I was finally done with all the quests and all that, I am two leaves short from getting a second one for my Javelin. Oh. So I was like, oh, man, I got to come back here tomorrow? Ah. <laughs> oh no so I'll just run something kind of quick when I get back but I, I was just hoping to do just the, 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 the main quest to plant the seed or get a seed or rub a seed or pet a seed or whatever the seed quest is of the, of the quest of the day and to, uh, get out to, of there to say nice things to the seeds and uh... yeah yeah. Tuck them in at night and give them hot <laughs> milk and all that stuff. I haven't, I haven't made it up there yet. Um, Roar gave me instruct directions. I still haven't followed them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the comic that I put out during a, on, on Twitter? Uh, I think I missed it. I, I have been so busy at work. I had absolutely no time to pay any attention to Twitter except to um, keep camping out the official PAX Twitter because tickets should be going on sale for PAX like in the next day or two or Ooh. week. Yeah, they just updated the site, and I've been camping that. <laughs> and, yeah, you're the PAX woman. I, I know as soon as it hits, boom, you got, like, six or eight or 42 or something. Yeah. And, and then, like, boom, they're gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's gone fast. So I want mm -hmm. to make sure because I have, you know, last year it's like, well, I'll get tickets and I see if I can, can – to, can share with people who don't have a chance to get them and I had a bunch of people I thought would you know take them and they're like oh no so I've had another bunch of other people who did take them and were very happy to get them and now I have many people who are kind of depending on me to get them <laughs> and oh. the pressure is a little a bit, a bit heavy <laughs> right you're gonna get me my four right yes I'm gonna get you your four for your four right. four day passes yes exactly no <laughs> Okay, other than that, what have you been doing during uh, the week? I did some more lobby leveling. I've been running around. I've got um, somebody at level 29 <laughs> who's been running around the Lone Lands. I think she's about ready to go try the um, neutral shots to see 
Oh. Not the Troll Shaws. The um, the North. What's the one with the burning town that they revamped? North North Downs. North North Cotton Estilden. Yeah, yeah, that area. <laughs> Cardoon and yeah, all that. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna try to head up there with her and see what happens. Awesome. Yep. And then um, I was trying to find Fangorn two weeks ago on the stream on one of my characters, and I didn't find it. But I ran into that burned down town mm -hmm. up up north of Helm, hell, uh, south of Helm's Deep, mm -hmm. um, right there at the Fort of Eisen kind of area. So I've been doing quests there. They have the grossest quests. <laughs> Please go remove the Rohirrim's head from the pikes. <laughs> I'm like that is disgusting <laughs> and I can't complete it because it's a group quest oh there's a in the meat hall there's an orc that's taken over the place so yeah. I can get in there about you know two two or three meters in and as long as I don't aggro anything I can do part of the remove the heads quest mm -hmm. but everything it doesn't aggro one at a time it aggroes through a four at a time so I can get the right. first wave by myself the rest of the wave just takes me out and there's not enough room to kite them yeah it's it's a small condensed area with a boss at the end yeah mm -hmm. yeah i was just called in for help on that yesterday yesterday i think it was or the day before well come over to brandywine and or not brandywine come over to landerval and help me on that <laughs> <coughs> as soon as you power level me uh, okay i'm terrible at that but i will try yes yeah, so a mini guide. A mini power leveling somebody. This is going to go <laughs> so fast. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, and I helped the lady get her, her people to the town, uh, to Helm's Deep. And then they've sent me to that other town that didn't like me the other day, the last time I was there. Uh, but that's what I've been doing in-game. Uh, pretty much it. Been busy. And then I played a little Skyrim. Skyrim? Uh-huh. That's like um, Elder Scrolls Online, but by yourself. Did you get a um, dragon screaming voice? Yes, I have my dragon screaming voice now. Awesome. I've made another very, very... <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, in this weekend, Skyrim. I made another... <laughs> this is like my third or fourth character. I don't get them very far, and this one's creepy looking again. Like, mm. really... I don't realize how creepy looking they are until I get to looking at them after I've played them for a few hours. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this person is frightening, and I'm stuck with her. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I want to start over again or if I just want to continue to play with a really, really scary, creepy person. You got to go through, you got to go play, you know, play the whole game and and just really go through it and then start getting all the mods. People have done so many cool mods for I, that game. I have, I, have, I have many mods. One of the mods I have is the blood mod. I walk around covered in blood all the time. I need to turn that off because it's a little disturbing. Wow. It's, it's, it's... You're I, scaring I, yourself. Yes, I know. I, I hit somebody <laughs> with fire from 10 feet away, and I'm covered head to toe in blood. Oh. <laughs> All right, enough of this week. <laughs> this week in freaking myself out. Um, where's the other music? They're going to laugh at you. I know where they are. <laughs> Let's play this one for a minute. That was about the most downer music you could play. Hobbinobigans. Hobbinobigans, yeah. Chicken <laughs> hockey. I'm sorry chicken for those hockey. who do not like that name, but that's what it is. It's chicken hockey. It's so, pretty much chicken. <clears throat> excuse me, chicken hobby. Yep. Yes. Ho somebody, hockey. I, I'd, I'd like it better if it was an orc head, and I thought that would be so gross. <laughs> um, there's actually chicken golf, too, because if you get some of the emotes, they take in the, the golf emotes, and you can put a chicken down and, and hit the chicken. Oh, dear. Mm hmm It's awesome. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the chicken's fighting back in the picture. Uh, yeah, but they don't. They don't? No. You smack them. Okay. So you smack them for points. Ah, so it's up by the festival grounds. Is that where it is? 
Yes. And it's already over. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at the guide, though, to kind of see where I was supposed to be. I think I ran across it the other day and went, huh, I wonder what this is for. Guess what? I found the Hobnobigans field. Mm hmm. That the field's been there ever since the game has started, and it's been over by the freeze tag area and all that, too. Um, uh, it, it's just been an open field that has done nothing. So um, it's kind of nice to know what that was for. And uh, it's even nicer that they are doing something with it now. Ah. Yeah, that is. That's one of the fields up there is what the dressage horse riding team in uh, on Landreval uses as their field to do their, their performances. Oh. Awesome. They better... <laughs> They better plan it right. Or yeah, they're going to get chicken hockey there. <laughs> chicken hockey. They get. They'd have a big audience. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Yeah, that would be funny. That'd be that'd be great if they could just change it into polo then. Oh, that would be awesome. Chicken polo. Yep, or croquet. Horseback croquet. That's what polo is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and we took the hot to the hobbits to Isengard twice. We took it to Landreval and to uh, I'm gonna butcher this one. Um, Estelle. 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 E S T E E L. Estelle. Sure. Uh, I'm going to be corrected. I'm sure. <laughs> you uh, win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They did ask, so there were some interesting questions. You know, a lot of the stuff is we've talked about it before, we've talked about it before. Mm -hmm. Repeat, wash, repeat. Um, they did ask um, if there were any plans for relic combinations. And the answer is not for update four, but it is something that does come up. Mm -hmm. So keep voting with your forum posts in a nice, polite, requestful manner. Yep. Uh, they had a answer a question about any plans to, for store purchase mounts to be account wide, and this was a well thought out answer. There are a lot of discussions about it. It's not something that's easy to do in terms of value proposition. We need to make money because when <laughs> something is account wide, then the value goes up, and then you need to talk about how much the price should go up, which people will not be happy with. If their $20 horse is suddenly $40 because it's a, or $60 because it's account wide. It's $20. Yes. It's already too high. And, and, and yes, if they make it account wide, people, you knowing people, um, I was just having a Twitter conversation this morning about free to play and people uh, being annoyed because the, they, they, they want it to go free to play and they wait for it to go free to play. And then they complain about the monetization system. Mm hmm. It's guys, that's what they must do. So, and you know, they talk about how much people will be willing to pay. Um, so they don't know if they're going to ever convert them account wide. I'm going to, I'm going to think that the tipping point of what they think they need money wise would be more than most people. I mean, come on, they, they did do all of the horses account wide for all of the classes for what, 200 bucks? Yeah, two hundred dollars. You can get them all out, uh, all all of them on all your characters on all the servers. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Are they not making money on that? Uh, there was also a deal with the White Mountain Goat, I believe, and yeah. uh, that was twenty dollars for the White Mountain Goat, or thirty or forty for account wide. And I haven't seen that sale again. So apparently that didn't do very well. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I know that the the white goat is the starter goat, and I believe I know I'm pretty sure the one that's in the store CSTM says do not bother buying. You know, because mm -hmm. it's not worth buying mm -hmm. because of the stats. We're not talking about the uh, the white one. We're um, you're talking about the the gray one that came with the pre-order of Merkwood. Oh, okay. Well, there no, there was one in the store that the goat would go on sale every once in a while. And her recommendation, Golden Star's recommendation, was not to buy it. Mm -hmm. It might have been a different goat. There might be two goats. Uh, okay. Siege weapons for the Moors were under consideration. Are they still? Are they still? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yay! And hopefully we can put chickens and goats in them and shoot them. Oh, there's a question here later that I think you're going to like the answer to. 
Oh, good. Yeah. So, the, but we got to go through a couple questions. So, anything new you can share about the Spring Festival? The answer is yes. They've got new stuff coming, but he's not going to say much because he doesn't know what made it in and what didn't make it in. Get rid of fishing. Fishing is the entire bloody festival. Uh, I don't think they can do that. Get rid of fish. No, there's there's, there's the maze and um, uh, Stompa Shrew. I, I, and... I, I, I don't like Stompa Shrew. I get sick and I gotta, can't win. Get rid of fishing. I don't like the maze because I get sick and I can't win. Right. I well, just fish. shorten up fishing then. Okay. Make make it Make the fishing fun. Uh, there shouldn't be a deed where I sit there and I need to keep fishing over and over and over again for a random super rare fish that I haven't gotten in two years. Get rid of fishing. I get all the, <laughs> I get the rare fish all the time because I'm wearing my horseshoe. What's the next question? That's your question, <laughs> Leonor. Any plans for chicken play to return to the moors? Oh. Now, remember, he had the lovely story about how it was an accident and they broke everything. Mm -hmm. He says he has tried on a number of occasions to convince someone to go back over the quest and see if they can't do something with it. It's really low priority, but he will keep pushing. He said he plotted and schemed for what seems like forever to get Hobnobigans back in the game. So he never says die when it comes to things involving chickens. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Especially when it comes chickens getting kicked, pummeled, or stabbed. <laughs> Good job, Sapiens. You're the man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and somebody asked him about the cold combat, uh, co cold content, and the space combat battle panel that oh, showed. Oh yeah. Remember that? That was a while ago, yeah. Yeah, so what they, what happened is they played a big fat joke on everybody because they discovered that play, players were using the Lewis scripting to pull info from the game mm -hmm. that they were putting in for future updates. So they red herringed it and put the space combat <laughs> in just as a joke. Space combat. So they put stuff in there that wasn't ever going to happen or might have happened under radically different names, conditions, mm -hmm. and circumstances. Very nice. And again, somebody asked him, <laughs> what does the horseshoe do? <sighs> he got a little bit clearer answer this time. There's mm. absolutely nothing that it, we think it does, so it probably doesn't help with relics or uh, boxes. And everything he said it does in the past. The first thing it ever did was change one sentence and one quest in the epic storyline <laughs> immediately after you get the horseshoe, if we have it equipped. Mm -hmm. That's its original purpose, people. That's what he says. Original purpose. <laughs> Since then, the devs have continued to add to it, but he doesn't know of anything lately. He will say that if you're participating in the snowball fights, you should definitely wear the horseshoes. It might impact it slightly. I've I seen a lot of people have them on for chicken hockey. You know, it never hurts to have it on. I wear it for festivals. I wear it for mm -hmm. all the festivals. I still know a lot of people that switch it out um, at the end of a raid to open up a chest. Still do. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, um, the chat room is reminding us the Spring Festival is about picking those darn flowers that make me want to cry. Oh, that's not the fishing one? I, I don't remember. Summer Festival, I think, is the fishing festival. Mm. Um, and the Farmer's Fair. But the the that's the one where you have 90 minutes to run to five places and chase everybody down and hope you can find those stupid flowers oh yeah i i i couldn't finish it last year i could do it <coughs> um and then somebody suggested that they open turn on all of the festivals at once for the winning server awesome uh he says he's thought of that the, he says the thought of that is terrifying and <laughs> he runs that by the e-commerce manager just to see the look on his face and no, he thinks if he suggested that, the engineers and the server teams would freak out. But the marketing guy is writing something down in his notebook. <laughs> I think that's Leo. So, so who knows what might happen with the festivals. <laughs> All right, Lanner, what did you know? This week's Did You Know is about reputation in Rohan. 
Um, I don't know how to pronounce this, but the second Rohan reputation faction is called Helmiglass? Uh, Hel... Hel... Helm- Helmigas. <laughs> it's a Helmigas. Helmigas, I think. Yeah, what she said. And um, it, it's kind of tough. When when I first went through Rohan, uh, it was kind of tough gathering all the task items so I could get this reputation. Now, I'm sure that there was quests and stuff that you could do too, but since I was just kind of shotgunning through it, I couldn't find very many things out there to kill to get these task items. So it ended up just sitting there. And when Fangorn came out, I started going through the crafting instances, and I started seeing all my task quests go off. Now, uh, the, I, I didn't have all, of, uh, or excuse me, all, all of the items do not work for all of the task uh, quests for back in Rohan in uh, Elberg, I think it's called? El... Ad- Edelberg. I, I, yes, that. <laughs> Um, the only quest that this covers is um, the Clipped Ears quest, Damaged Furs, Shattered Hatchets, and Torn Skins. If you go through the crafting instances in Fangorn, you get a ton of these. And I knocked out my reputation. I think I had like two bars left. Um, I knocked this out within just a couple of days. And you get a lot of stuff. So, oh, actually, no, I think it was like three or four days kind of making things up apparently Mm -hmm. but um yeah this this uh if you're missing that reputation just keep doing the fangorn crafting instances and you can knock out this task this uh reputation easy with these task items okay um just so you know remember we couldn't quite figure out what the the patch notes said about the the task item and they had the new thing right Oh, yeah. What it does is if you kill something and you pick up whatever it is and it starts a task item quest, Mm -hmm. it auto adds it. Oh. Which is annoying for me. I didn't even know they did that. That's new. That's new. That came with 13.1. Oh. So so before you can say, do you want to add the um, auto add the tasks to your quest tracker? And you can check that yes or no. This one actually, if you don't check the box don't do it it's it's turned on so if you don't turn it off um every time you kill something that gives you a task item it will add that task item to your quests <laughs> yeah so you're running around and you like you know suddenly kill an orc or a, a dunling ding or something and it'll like give you and for me i don't tend to do the task item on all my alts i just do that on my mains mm-hmm and so it was like, wait, what? Why is this thing full? <laughs> Welcome to your task quest. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, Leonard, what happened in Three Man this week? <laughs> um, apparently, um, some person, I'm not going to say any names or anything, but uh, some guy who acts and uh, does plays and stuff um, somehow broke his arm. Yeah. So we didn't record this week, and I hope he's better feeling okay, because I know that sucks, and we'll get you updates. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I want yeah. I, I want to know the story, too. <laughs> yeah, I want to know the story, too. Um, I, 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 maybe he didn't have his stunt double come in that day or something. I don't know. Yeah. We'll find out. We'll, we'll keep everybody posted. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in community, uh, just a gentle reminder that Weatherstock is coming June fourteenth. Gentle. Gentle, yeah. Raw. Raw Weatherstock is coming. Band, reg- <laughs> band registration is starting soon. I think I remember seeing something that said May nineteenth. Mm. Uh, I'm sure you can find it on the forums or um, information on the forums because that's usually where I put it. And we got three letters. Count them. Three letters. Three letters. This week. Yeah. Wow. So you may begin. (coughs) This letter is from a mama set who I like to call Duck. Hello, folks. I wanted to 
I wanted to tell you about the time I was put in jail. <laughs> <laughs> or go. Go, yeah. As Tolkien would have spelt it. Uh, this was back when horses were items you could carry in your pack. I had accidentally sold my new Bree steed, and a GM ported me into the Bree jail cell and set a horse item on the floor. The jail cell was, of course, to keep anyone from grabbing the new horsey. After I picked it up, I was given a stern warning to be more careful and ported out of the cell. I wish there was a ex-convict title for that. Can you, that would be really cool, but can you imagine the bad behavior to get people to get thrown into the cell? Just oh, I'd the be in there first day. Title. Yep. <laughs> Patch 13.2. Oh, cool. it is Lanor's pronounced in jail. jail. It is pronounced jail, but spelled goal. <laughs> Gail. <laughs> mm. Thank you. See, he's here to help me with our pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Duck. Yeah. So we had a letter from Dan. It says, hi, Carrie and Leonor. First, again, great job. Hi. Yeah, hi. I, I got to say hi. People don't usually say that to me. Okay. Uh, again, great job for the, <laughs> what, they just say hi to me and just ignore you. Oh, I almost knocked it. That was a good catch. <laughs> I was talking with my hands again, and <laughs> I almost knocked my water bottle over onto the floor by my computer. Uh, I bet you don't have a Wii, do you? I do have a Wii, yes. Do you turn? Do you turn with, with the things? You know, like if you're playing a racing game, do you turn with the controller? I turn with the controller on my PS3. What do you oh. mean? Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, back to, back to Dan's <laughs> letter. First again, great job with the podcast. Been listening for years now and still get much information from each one. Second, sorry for the long email. Oh? Third, I know you're both into cosmetic system the game. Carry more yes. than Leonor. Perhaps, oh. but thought you both would have a bit of interest in what personally I believe to be the coolest cloaking game. In one of your latest episodes, you were talking about the Tower of Orthanc instances and if there was any real reason or other for fun to run these anymore. This cloak may be the reason. I will let you decide. And I think I missed part of the letter, so hang on. To the email. Because he gave instructions on how to get the cloak. Yes, it is a little bit complicated to get this cloak now yeah. because a lot of people are not running it. Um, what it is, it is Oh, the... I got it. I got it. Okay. First, you have to kill Dragak. So yeah. Drops the scale. Then three scales. Then you get you have to get three scales. Mhm. Mm um, when you do get three, you have a tailor craft you a dag dragon cloak. Mhm. Mm okay, and then one of one of five four. different dragon cloaks, four. I think. Four. four. Okay. Tank, melee, DPS, range, DPS, and casters. So I guess tank, melee, DPS, range, DPS, and casters. Four. Mhm. Mm then after you have your dragon cloak, you have to do the full Tower of Orthanc instance line. That's a four-part raid. You do three different parts with with their own boss fight that unlocks the tower section, which I've only been through the one where you have to jump on cue with the acid. Mm -hmm. I've never f actually finished that one. Um, so after you get that, you the you get the sorry man. <laughs> that's how he spelled it. Sorry man to drop. As part of the loot roll, a clasp. <laughs> if you win the roll for the clasp, then you either use it to upgrade your necklace that you got from the camp outside Orthanc, mm -hmm. or you use the clasp to upgrade your dagger cloak. So um, he has a white one. We had a video. Right. So the clasp is um, Saruman's clasp from when he changes into Saruman the many color. And when that drops, um, uh, because... Uh, um, you you can merge that onto this cloak and turn the cloak, the dragon cloak, white, and it will change into a white cloak, but with rainbow colors underneath the whites of um, uh, what the dragon cloak looks, used to look like, and um, it it's a it's a really cool effect. Uh, I never liked it that much. Oh well. I'm at his video, and it's it. Oh yeah, that's really cool. It kind of glows. Mhm. Mm if you do all the deeds in Orthanc, you also get the Steed of Many Colors, and that's actually colored very well. It's kind of a bluish grayish, and uh, 
like um you know how when silk moves in the light it'll change like different colors like a reddish and stuff mm -hmm. yeah orangish that's what the horse does and uh, that's colored really nice um the dragon cloaks i don't know they the effects of them are awesome um the the colors and, and the way it changes and all that but it's just kind of weird it's just kind of like a i don't know um yeah. it's like somebody took a, a really cool cloak uh, aluminum cloak that changes colors, you uh -huh. know, aluminum, yeah. and smeared a bunch of yogurt on it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I, I see, I see, I see what you're saying. That that's my professional opinion. Yes. Well, and he 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 lists his 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 characters, his five level cap characters. <laughs> um, one of which is named Looney. <laughs> what? L O U N I Looney. <laughs> Looney. Yes, he's got a 95 Mini, a 95 Cappy, a 95 RK, a 95 Berg, and a 95 Champ. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. Looney, Linlil, fin Findeladan, Fideladan. Are you playing Trandoc, music? Trandoc, Dor, playing... Dorlin. Clearly, I was music. playing music. Okay. I'm playing music. That was music. <laughs> All right, and then Kevin wrote us another letter. Um, so he has to ask us, he says, off the topic of HD, do you guys have an idea for a full fellowship setup? I, he tends to notice that when we run Kin Six Mans, we've had the best luck with a Guardian Mini, Honey Hunter, Loremaster, Berg, Warden. With this set... Oh, the what? And a honey. And a honey. Okay. <laughs> and, and a... Well, is that the bear? No. <laughs> oh, can't wait. <laughs> We've almost accidentally achieved accidentally achieved tier two challenges on somewhat harder instances like Fornas, Shadow, and Lost Temple. Um, yep, he a main tank guardian and an off tank warden can pull aggro off a mini. That's mm -hmm. why the wardens are mini protectors. Um, and a uh, hunter that doesn't stand in the corner get two to nuts. And the lore master does whatever lore master does. Um, they are pretty awesome at keeping minis topped off, um, with, um, power. Mm -hmm. I haven't noticed, uh, too much of a problem since the trait tree revamp. I personally haven't run out of juice, but I know those poor guardians at the very first revamp were just running out of juice like crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyway, and he was just curious as if we had any, um, any thoughts on a, a good raid setup? I'd say basically double that setup and you're good to go. Yeah, pretty much. Um, if you can get a guardian and a warden working together, that's usually pretty good. Um, I don't know about the skill changes, though. I haven't done that. Um, what what I used to do was I used to back up the guardian. You know, we, we would both tank the same targets. But we would be doing it differently. He would be pulling threat um, in his AOE threat skills that he does. And I would be leeching threat from him, the champion that was usually behind everything, and um, whoever else is close to me. So what that would do was that would pull threat to me and keep everything away from the minstrel, the hunter that was in the back, you know, anything that was in the back. You would literally see stuff run all the way back there. The Guardian would hit, the Champion would hit, I would leech, and everything that ran back there would run back at us. It was really cool. It looked like we had a whole room aggro effects. Um, how that works now, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't tanked too many things. It, it, if I do, it's usually just me alone, and uh, I just gather up the whole world, and, and somebody kills stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't really noticed too many things yet, um, but as as an idea, um, get a guardian, get a warden, um, probably two healers, two minstrels, and I would probably go with two champions, um, so so they can cover their groups. Or not? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not sorry. Um, uh, champions. I mean, uh, captains. Cappies, yeah. Cappies to cover their groups. Um, have them trade a little bit differently, like maybe have one as um, um, able to do 
Oathbreakers and have the other one do everything else. Um, I don't know exactly how their skill trees work, mm -hmm. but Oathbreakers help a lot, a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So have that all ready to go uh, if you're going to set something up like that. Mm -hmm. And then after that, uh, DPS up the wazoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Variety yeah. helps. Hunters, lore masters, rune keepers, whatever, you know, just variety, a berg, maybe two bergs, you know, a big variety. So you have all these different skills ready to go at any time. So if something does go wrong, somebody can pick up something or change the way that they're doing something and boom, you know, teamwork. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, I mean, if you can pick up an extra mini besides just the two, one for each fellow, it doesn't hurt, especially on the harder ones. Right. But especially whoever the main tank is, you try to get like a main tank mini and then you um, do a everybody else mini healing, healing mini. Right. Um, if you... If you're only going to, or you're going to um, argue that you only want one tank, um, I don't know exactly how well Wardens are doing right now with full raid tanking. Uh, I have been in a couple, and I do well. Mm -hmm. um, I would probably go with a Guardian, though, because of all the mitigations and stuff that they have. So if you're looking for just one tank, grab a Guardian. And if a Warden's going to come with and you really don't want him to tank at all, he's really good at bleed damage right now and actually range damage as well. So put him in that position and then have him maybe pick up things or something uh, later on in the raid. You should be all right. Okay. Okay. Then he also asked us, he... Um... He says, what's the deal with golden tokens of Rittermark? I got 21 of them dumped into my wallet last update, and I can't find any info on them. I asked other players, scoured the internet. I poured over ancient tomes. I traveled the world in seeking of forbidden knowledge, and I've come up dry. He, he even rewatched the old 80s movie Willow starring Val Kimmer, and Dead didn't help either. Oh, Mad Martigan. Mad Martigan <laughs> didn't help at all. <laughs> He says he guessed that had nothing to do at all with to, to do with Rittermark Tobins, but it was fun to watch it again. And he'd like to know any ideas. I, I suggest you watch Short Circuit. Um, that might help. That would actually, we watched that one recently. That was really funny. That, that would help more. Um, I believe uh, they are Hoothbolt tokens, yes? Uh, yes. Golden token of Rittermark. Yeah, yeah, they're, they are. They're for the Hoothbolt um for the um to rebuild yep to help rebuild and i believe you can get the armor the armor with it mm -hmm. yep you can get the armor there's all kinds of uh housing items there's there's like geez there's like a hundred yeah, housing there's... items that you can get yeah you can make your elf house look like a um rohirrim um mead hall yep Sure you can. know, I, those houses, speaking of those meat halls, those things have got to be 950 degrees on the inside. Every time you walk into one, they've got a fire in the floor. <laughs> Multiple like fire 50, pits. <laughs> like 50 feet long fire going in the floor, you know? <laughs> it's like, it, it, you guys must really be sweaty and stinky in these meat halls. It's like a lot of them from Rohan went over to Forlaw and they're like, wow, you guys got the coolest fire pits. We're going to tell Theoden about these. And Theoden says, yes, fire pits for all. I know, and you walk into like, Edoras and you're like. This is the worst idea ever. <laughs> and they're like floor level. It's like, no wonder are there are no children running around. They've all fallen into the <laughs> fire all, yep. pit at two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Completely unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for your letters, everybody. Um, Keep uh, them coming. Yeah, yes. Oh, I um, I listened to your interview, Leonor. Oh, the one for Walmart. Yeah, that one. That one where where you talk about the low prices and stuff. Yep, exactly. Yep, the rollback smiley. Mhm. Mm um. No, your interview with the players council member. Oh, that one went better. Yeah. <laughs> Smiley didn't say a lot, did he? Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, other than get out. <laughs> Please. So yeah. what? What? What did you? What did you think about? The, well, some of the topics that we talked about. What? What did you? Uh, what stuck with you? I um I enjoyed the um the chat about how he they they were um you know it's like you, you brought the that that they they did get feed feedback about the trait trees 
but it sounded like it was farther along than anybody thought it was when it was brought to them. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that, that was an interesting, um, thought and excuse me, it was, it was very interesting that, that, um, ideas, you know, that, that they're like, no, we really need to keep thinking about this. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. this. the, uh, the interview brought in a lot of really good insight. It, it confirmed a lot of things that, uh, you and I, uh, were thinking how the players council worked. Uh, especially when Sapiens talked about it, you know, afterwards when the NDA came out. Mm -hmm. um, it, it confirmed quite a few things. Uh, it was really neat to hear somebody that was in the council and hearing, you know, uh, Turbine present some of these things to them. And um, it, it was it was really interesting. Um, uh, for like... I, I tried to find out if there were things that Turbine were talking about or th thinking about changing or anything like that. And he said that pretty much whatever that they talked to them about, they did. So there was never any like, well, we're thinking about a raid over here. What do you guys think? Okay, and we're not going to do that then. You know, that there was never anything like that. It was something that Turbine already had the ball rolling on mm -hmm. and... They just got their opinion, you know, on, on certain aspects of how things should work in game for players. So it, it was really neat. Um, I, uh, I I hope to maybe get a couple, maybe get another conversation with a, a few other members at a later time. But um, I think this one pretty much covered all the bases. Okay. Okay. So actually, I found a post about the golden. Your mark token, it's an oops. <laughs> They're not uh -oh. good for anything. Yay, you got 21 of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, they, I would hold on to them. They might be, um, they might be good for something later. Are they, are they in his bag or they are, are they in the barter bag? Um, I don't know. Uh, Sapiens back in 2012 said they've been removed and replaced with silver tokens that do have a use. The gold tokens are a leftover database item that's floating around for beta. They have no use in game. But hey, you got a gold token. Well, if you got a bunch and they're in your bag, drag it into your inventory and in, in your bank. Yeah. And then drag them back into your bags again and see if they poof away and change into something else. Give that a shot. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm reading the rest of this post here, um, and then we went we digressed to Gene Wilder and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> so, no, so, stop. It it, it it digressed. <laughs> <laughs> the tunnel scene's still my favorite scene. Oh yeah, I, I haven't seen poem. seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in like years. Um, so, so Kevin, you might want to bug them, um, and see if they, they can replace them with something like yeah. candy. Yeah. Candy or, you know, chocolate or golden tickets or something. Rings of oh, power, I, rings I of power. Ticket. Somebody suggested so. rings of power. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know if you want 21 rings of power, dude. I don't know. Anybody that has rings of power kind of get, you know, stabby, stabby. Yeah, so, little nuts in there. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody's um, server signature was kill all the things that move and then look around for more things to kill. But you must be a hunter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. All righty. And um, we do have a couple sponsors we want to talk about real quick. We keep forgetting to talk about them. If you're looking for a new PC, then check out DoghouseSystems.com and use the coupon code MMOReporter to double your RAM. And if you don't like books and threw them all into a fire because books are evil, you can get some audiobooks and listen to them in your car. <laughs> all you need to do is go to AudibleTrial.com slash MMOReporter and you can get hooked up with one month free trial. Yes, but please don't burn your car down because audiobooks are evil. <laughs> <laughs> And you may email us at lotro.reporter at gmail.com. I do not want to hear stories about how you burned your books. Let's not do I that. Do. 
let me know. Let no. me know. Okay. Then, me. Yes, you twit. can twit Leonor at Leonor and tell him about the book burnings. No, yes. don't do that. <laughs> Somebody out there would like your book, unless it's like moldy and gross. Then you may do something with it. But um, you can follow us on Twitter at Lotor Reporter. You can check us out on Facebook. Just search for Lotor Reporter. You can leave us a voicemail at 616-666-6778. You can use a widget on the right-hand side of the screen when screen when you visit the site. You can check us out on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash user slash MMO Reporter Network. You can um, check us out on our website at lotoreporter.com. And, of course, you can follow us at twitch.tv slash MMO Reporter. You'll get notifications by email or on your smartphone, or however you would like to get notifications, that we are gone live, and you can find out all about the shows that we have on the network. Mm-hmm. You can follow me at the Carrie Mac. It's T H E C A R I M A C, where I have interesting discussions upon with people about free to play and why one must go to work on a Tuesday when it's pretty outside because you're an adult. <laughs> How about you, Lanor? How can they get a hold of you? You can get a hold of me at Leonor, L-A-Y-A-N-O-R. You can twit me, and I'll twit you back. And I've been posting some rather silly cartoons lately. Uh, the last cartoon was Leonor looking up into the sky, looking awfully confused with the words, Quick Beam, Seed, Return to Quick Beam, Return, Seeds, Return, Quick Beam, all throughout the air. Yes, I think I've seen that. I did see that one. I did see that one, yes. Fangorn Insanity. Ah, uh, yes, and the tree follows you. Ugh. So, all right, well, I think that sounds like a show. I'll be at rambling, but a show. <laughs> I like to ramble. Yes. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, thank you for downloading the podcast. And, uh, of course, we do hope to see you in-game. I'm picking random music from my Lotro file. Random music? Mm -hmm. Gotta go back in time. It's really random. Some of it's kind of slow. Oh. If you don't know me by now. No, that does not go with the Elder Days song. Okay. Thanks, guys. (laughs) Thanks, chat room.